If you ban Yasuo because you don't want to play against him, that's perfectly understandable. But if you ban him because someone on your team wants to play him and you don't want to play with Yasuo, uh, this applies to any champion really, but I just want to say that you're a piece of shit. Hi there, my name's Donhua. How do you deal with Yasuo? Yasuo, I mean, since his conception, everyone considered him overpowered. I mean, this, this is not even, it's not even a question, really. I mean, what the fuck? You have a champion that has double crit chance? What the fuck is that, right? But in high elo, Yasuo has not been considered that overpowered. He is still considered super, super busted and basically the god carry in mid to low elos. How do high elo players deal with Yasuo so well? And how do lower elo players have so, so much trouble with him? I'm going to look at Yasuo's strengths and weaknesses, how you can properly abuse him and punish him, and how you can beat him when he gets super far ahead. But first, what, what is Yasuo? What can we compare Yasuo to? Yasuo is a spoiled, shitty brat. That's what Yasuo is. He is a selfish, narcissistic child who only gives a fuck about himself. He's always split pushing, never groups with the team. He's always taking everybody's farm. He thinks every all the gold is his gold. And the way you deal with Yasuo is the same way that you deal with an overspoiled brat. Let's look at the worst case scenario first. What is the worst case scenario when playing up against Yasuo? The worst case scenario is that the jungler camps you and you die to all these ganks. The jungler has good CC, always on time, always gets a kill, and he just makes your life miserable. When a jungler camps for an enemy Yasuo, it, that's basically having an enabling mother. A mom that just cannot say no. Mom, I want ganks! Mom, I need wards! Why are you taking care of bot lane? Fuck bot lane, I need ganks! This is how he becomes so self-centered and unempathetic. It's because he's never heard the word no. And in some sense, it is an effective strategy. Once Yasuo gets infinity edge and another crit item, he's gonna have a 100% crit chance. So what do you do in a scenario like this? You have to go kill his mom. His mother is the one enabling him, so you have to kill his mother. She's gonna eventually have to help another lane, and you have to be ready, you have to be there. Because he also is just gonna sit top, he doesn't give a fuck about his team. You have to make sure that you're there for your teammates. If you help them more during the early-ish mid-game, they are more likely to want to help you during the late game. A champion's roam potential is determined on how much burst, crowd control, and mobility they have. Yasuo has all three of these things if he fills a condition for each of them. Because just like a spoiled brat, he's fucking nobody without people helping him. He needs other people to knock up for him. He needs minions to be able to have real mobility. He doesn't have reliable CC without three hits of his Q. This is why most Yasuo players, even when they get fed, they still just sit in a single lane and split push. Now how do you deal with his split push? Think about what a shithead kid turns into when he grows up. A shithead kid turns into a shithead adult. And we call those people criminals and druggies and rapists and stuff like that. And how do we deal with those people in our society? We deal with them together. One of us asks for help because they have a problem they can't deal with by themselves. So the rest of us come in and divert resources to help this person. Now, unlike other great split pushers such as Nasus and Trinomir, there's a specific reason that you want to group up and kill this guy. And that is that Yasuo does not have survivability unlike these other split pushers. Once you've caught Yasuo, once you've locked him down, you have him. You don't actually waste as much time because he's a low mobility squishy split pusher. So you do still have quite a bit of time to rotate back to save your other objectives. Now, what do you do against the Fed Yasuo in team fights? One of the scariest things that you can watch is watching all of your carries get knocked up by Yasuo and then getting ulted by him. But again, same thing as before. It doesn't matter which person on your team was responsible for feeding the Yasuo, he is now a problem to all of society. He is a problem to your entire team. So your entire team has to pay their taxes, pay their alts, pay their resources in order to deal with this guy. Let's take a comparison between these two team fights. In this team fight, Nautilus ignores Yasuo and instead goes for the backline. Thus, Yasuo is able to kill Nautilus' backline and then they lose the team fight. Had he peeled instead, they might have had a chance. Now let's look at a different team fight. This time around, Yasuo goes in, gets a great knockup, but this time everybody knows who to focus. 
Lulu and Lee Sin immediately burn their ults. Nautilus this time around runs back and peels for his carries instead of going for the back line. When people say things like, oh, I'm, I didn't focus Yasuo because I was focusing the carries. Yasuo is the carry. Yasuo is the one that's going to carry this game by killing everybody else. Doesn't matter who created the shithead. You have to collectively deal with him as a team. Now let's talk about a scenario where Yasuo doesn't get crazy fed. One of Yasuo's biggest strengths is in his early game. He gets a 100 HP passive shield at level 1. That is insanely good and very difficult to trade with. There are two different approaches to his early game. We'll talk about mid lane's approach first. Mid lane mages have the hardest time against Yasuo. At level 1, Yasuo is just going to put a point into his E, dash through the minion wave, and start cutting you. First, use an auto attack to pop off his shield. Make sure you stay close enough to your own minion line so when he auto attacks, he aggroes the caster minions. And then use your first ability to trade back with him. And kite back so that he cannot continue to hit you. Generally speaking, as a mage, you don't want to push Yasuo in. Because what happens is, even though you make him miss CS by pushing him to tower, you're going to quickly run out of mana and Yasuo is a resourceless champion. Because this Karth has spent his level 1 shoving up the minion wave, when Yasuo hits level 2, he can just immediately begin to dash on top of him and get a free trade. Because of his decision to push, Karthus now has a huge deficit in lane and eventually gets killed, thus beginning a snowball for Yasuo. In general, you just want to let Yasuo shove you in and hold the wave near your tower. Now how do you gank Yasuo? Yasuo seems to be fairly susceptible to ganks because he doesn't actually have a real escape unless he has minions behind him. But the best way to gank Yasuo is to let him gank himself. Every single Yasuo is extremely aggressive in the early game. So whatever bait you throw at him, however obvious, almost every single time, he's gonna take it. It's much easier to kill him when he's just right on top of you. You can do something similar in the mid lane. Imagine there's a line, an invisible line from here to here. Yasuo's love to go aggressive, and if you stand on top of this line, Yasuo will just barely be in turret range. Yasuo's love being aggressive and will generally fuck up and make mistakes like this. One of the biggest things that parents aren't doing anymore is that they're not allowing their kids to make mistakes. Instead, they warn them and tell them what to do. Don't. Let Yasuo make his own mistakes. Let him learn what it feels like when you tower die. Stop giving him advice. Don't put your hands on the stove. Stop referring to that black man as the nigger. Let him make his own mistakes. Let him know what it feels like to do those things. That'll teach him a more valuable lesson than you ever could. Now for most mages, you just want to go even with Yasuo. As long as you didn't give him a kill, as long as you didn't let him snowball, you won't be too far off. Level 6 is when you have an opportunity. Yasuo's early game is great, Yasuo's late game is disgusting, and Yasuo's mid game is horrid. I mean, it is awful. Unless fed, it is one of the worst mid games ever because of one main reason. He doesn't have a reliable ultimate. Again, unless this brat has an enabling mother doing his knockups for him, he can't reliably knock you up. When Yasuo gets three hits of his Q, he will hold a tornado for 10 seconds. In those 10 seconds, you just gotta stay out of range of Yasuo. And that will likely mean missing out on a few minions, not just on their gold, but also on their EXP. But once he loses that tornado, it will be another 7 seconds before he gets another one. That means in that 7 second window, he doesn't have an ultimate. This is when you punish the little bastard for all the fucking things he's done to you. This is when you spank him and beat the shit out of him. Top lane bruisers can do this, and mid lane assassins can do this very well. As for top lane tanks and mid lane mages, those 7 seconds are 7 seconds of free harass. Use ranged autos to get his shield down and bait out his wind wall so you can get more harass down. And if you don't do those things, you can push the wave in and try to outroam him. Know what this twisted fate does. He has gold card, but he doesn't throw it because he knows it will get wind walled. So instead he's auto attack canceling to fake out wind wall. This Yasuo, however, is clever enough to not fall for it. So instead he throws wild cards and allows those to get blocked. And so it gets him that gold card and secures this kill. Now you can do all these things and more, but here's the biggest problem that a lot of people face. There's a statistic that shows that the lower elo you go, the longer the games last. 
Because people in lower elos don't shot call properly, they don't make the right decisions, and they're either too aggressive or just not aggressive enough. The average silver game lasts about 5 minutes longer than the average master tier game. Now I know 5 minutes not, might not sound like a lot in a League of Legends game, but remember, this is Yasuo we're talking about, okay? He is a monstrous little brat. Most parents are uncomfortable leaving their kid alone for 5 seconds. Imagine the damage this little fucker will do in 5 minutes! Be proactive on the map. Don't just sit there and farm with him. Punish him. Spank him at every single turn. Don't do stupid things yourself like chasing. People who chase kills are people who chase bronze. Remember not to fight him when he has his enabling mother with him. But most importantly, make sure you snowball the advantage against Yasuo. Because while Yasuo is a very good snowball champion, he also gets snowballed on himself extremely easily. He is not a great escaper, he is not tanky, he does not have range. It is very hard for him to get back into this game once he's out of it. Don't just sit in one lane and continuously kill Yasuo. Make sure that this advantage spreads out so you can end this game faster. But always make sure that you have enough time to punish this Yasuo. Yasuo needs to know that daddy can go into another lane, do good work, but still come back home to beat his little punk ass so he doesn't get too far out of control. Even if he's 1 in 10, daddy is still willing to use an ultimate on him. Consistency is the key to parenting. That's how you deal with Yasuo.